Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see how to fix the scepter monitor. No signal entering, power save. So let's get started. The solution number one, check the video connections, unplug and reconnect the HDMI display port, USB-C, VGA or the DVI cable between the GPU and the monitor to ensure the secure connection. If available, try using the different display cable to rule out any issues with the current cable. For example, switch from the HDMI to the display port. Disable the auto source in the monitors on screen display. OSD menu. Navigate to the input source option in the OSD and select the correct input corresponding to the display cable used. For example, HDMI or the display port. The solution number two is adjust the power settings. What you can do is like you can go to the control panel by going to the start button or you can go to the window search bar. So here you can go, you can open the run dialog box here. You can type the control and press the enter. And here you can go to the power options, hardware and reset. So here you can go to the power options and here click on the change plan settings for the currently set power. So here you can see the turn off display is 3, 10, 3 minutes to 10 minutes. Put the computer to sleep 3 minutes, 10 minutes. Okay, so set the turn off screen and the put the computer to sleep options to never. Set the turn off screen and uh, so here you can select never for both. Okay. Okay, so here you can select never for both. And the solution number three is update the GPU drivers. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box. So here you can type device management dot MSC. And here you can go to the display adapters. So here you can go to the right click on the on your graphic card and then select update driver. So here you can click on update driver. Choose search automatically for the updated driver software and follow the on screen instructions. So here you can see update driver option. In the solution number four is replace the CMOS battery, shut down the computer and unplug the power cable, open the computer case to access the motherboard, locate the CMOS battery, usually a round coin cell battery, gently remove the battery from its socket, insert the new CMOS battery ensuring the correct orientation, close the computer case and reconnect the power cable, boot up the computer and enter the BIOS setup to ensure the date and time are correct. The solution number five is seek the professional assistance. You can contact the Scepter's technical expertise team for further assistance. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and they give you the better solution. So you can follow the instructions provided by the support team, which may include sending the monitor for a repair or a replacement. Okay, so that's all about this particular video guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please just subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.